Hi, I'm John Dasko. I'm with AICAG Connected, and I'm here at the annual meeting, the 2011 annual meeting. We're at the poster session. I'm here with uh, Ethan Kershner, Master of the and we're just here to, to uh, talk a little bit about this poster. So, why don't you explain a little bit about what you can you just talk to me? Yeah. Sure. So, I created a solar cell that sought to decrease uh, cost and also increase the voltage output um, as compared to commercially available solar cells. Additionally, I also sought to decrease the amount of materials used, which would in turn decrease cost. So my design was based on a dye-sensitized solar cell, which basically incorporates uh, the concept of photosynthesis using pigments naturally found in uh, plants and foods to absorb sunlight. So using that, I developed um, this design here. These are the electrodes. Uh, the left-hand side is the uh, electrode, and the right-hand side is the counter-electrode. And electrons jump between these gaps to create a potential difference. Um, on the left-hand side, I painted it with titanium dioxide, which would hold the raspberry pigments, uh, which would then absorb sunlight and output a voltage. Um, as you can see by this table, the voltage in comparison to the surface area uh, for my designs output a greater ratio when compared to the commercial pit by at a maximum of about, of about fourfold. Excellent. Thanks so much for explaining this to us. Thank you. Uh, hope you have a great meeting. Thank you.